Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Explosion rocks Adax oil facility in Imo State, killing two people. Court sentences pastor to life imprisonment for defiling his friend's 12-year-old twin daughters. NBA condemns attempt by National Assembly to criminalize ransom payment by families of victims of kidnapping. Now the news in detail. An explosion has rocked the Adak soy facility at Izumbil Guta local government area of Imo State in the early hours of Wednesday, killing two people. The Imo State Police Public Relations Officer Michael Abatam, while confirming the incident, said the command's anti-bomb unit has been mobilized to the scene of the explosion. Meanwhile, a source in the area who spoke with TVC News says the two victims were trying to have their way into Adak's oil facility when the bomb exploded, killing them. A domestic violence and sexual offenses court sitting in Ikeja, Lagos State on Wednesday sentenced a pastor, Michael Olise, to life imprisonment for defiling his friend's 12-year-old twin daughters. Justice Abiola Soladoe described Mr. Olise, who's the assistant pastor of the anointed chosen vessel ministry in Okota, Lagos, as a serial rapist who took turns defiling his friend's daughters. She held that the prosecution had convincingly proven the charges of defilement against the convict beyond and a reasonable doubt. The Nigerian Bar Association Section on Public Interest and Development Law has condemned the attempt by the National Assembly to criminalize ransom payment by families of victims of kidnapping. NBS Pidel says those who pay such monies do so out of desperation because of government's failure to secure lives which the legislature must address instead. This position was reviewed by the chairman of the NBS Pidel, Monday Obani. In Lagos. Women in Nigeria are advocating for a global treaty against gender violence. The Minister of Women Affairs, who led other women group to a closed door meeting with the UN Secretary General, told journalists this was the crux of their meeting. They said they want Antonio Guterres to have this very important conversation with President Buhari when he meets with him later in the day. Another major concern for the women is the involvement of women in politics as electioneering in the country heats up.